Hey guys, I hope y'all are having a great December so far. I wanted to send out a quick video covering a pretty common question that I'm getting at this time of the year, and it has to do with the tax bills that come in um, that are sent to you. Everyone as a homeowner receives a tax bill uh, in the mail so that you know what your taxes are. But if you pay your taxes and insurance in your mortgage payment, payment monthly, they have also sent that bill to the mortgage company so that the mortgage company can cut the check to them. So if you've received this bill and you pay your taxes and insurance in your payment, then the mortgage company is going to pay it for you. You don't have to worry about forwarding the bill to the mortgage company. You don't have to worry about paying it yourself. You can actually just leave it alone. So that's a really nice thing to know. But you do want to pay attention to your tax bill to see if your taxes have gone up, if they've changed value on you. Um, in my personal opinion, if they've lowered your tax value, I think that's a good thing because that means your taxes are going to be lower. If they've increased your tax value, that means your taxes have increased and you may want to look at disputing it this coming year because once January 1st hits, you're going to have, um, you're going to be able to look at disputing those taxes if you've seen them go, go up. And if you feel like they're too high, you can do the same thing. Um, the tax, the county has nothing to do with determining what your house is worth, what your house would sell for. So if you're seeing the county state that your value is going up or going down, it has nothing to do with what your house would sell for. We actually don't even pay attention to those values when it comes to knowing what a house would value for. But what it does control is how much taxes you would pay. So definitely pay attention to those bills as they come in. But don't worry about, don't worry about paying them if, uh, if you do pay your taxes and insurance in your payment. I hope all of that helped out. Um, if you don't pay your taxes and insurance in your payment and you're, you have your bill, absolutely you are going to have to pay your bill. Um, and you, I know you probably already realized that from conversations that we may have had in the beginning when we were doing your loan. But you'll want to pay that bill if it is not a part of your payment. Um, and it'll show the due date, when it's considered late, when they'll start tacking on penalties for, for late taxes. But um, I just wanted to make sure that that was clear. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call me. Um, I definitely would uh, love to answer those questions for you. You can always reach me at 972-278-4651. Again, that's 972-278-4651. I'm going to be sending out uh, to each of you a letter at the beginning of the year going over uh, what's tax deductible, going over when it comes to your mortgage, and also going over your homestead to make sure that you have registered for your homestead. Make sure that you have that on your taxes as well. Um, so expect that letter towards the beginning of the year. Uh, I will talk to you soon and uh, let me know if you have any friends or family that need to purchase a home. Thanks. Bye-bye.